the month of June. It is the sixth month of the year. I can't believe we are almost halfway through this crazy year. Um, we have a whole new lesson set. Last month, we talked about getting unstuck and how God helps us with that, the tools that he gives us, the people around us, the Holy Spirit, and of course, Jesus' sacrifice, dying on the death and coming back. Um, this month and next month too, June and July, they have the same theme is focus. Oops. Take a closer look. <laughs> All right, so we have our take a closer look focus. And um, the main idea is faith. Trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Okay, so you might see something a little strange about Miss Jessie. Um, I just wanted to, it's funny that that was what the lesson is, but Miss Jessie has a new pet this uh, month, a little baby hedgehog. So he's just gonna be hanging out with me in case you're wondering what this is. It has nothing to do with the lesson. It's just, I have a baby hedgehog in here. Um, maybe I'll show you him later if he's not grumpy. I just want to clear the air on that. Okay, but speaking of adorable little creatures, one of my favorite animals, can you guys guess what it is besides hedgehogs? They're kind of weird. They're called tardigrades. Have you heard of a tardigrade before? Not a lot of people have, they're kind of weird. Um, some people call them water bears or moss piglets, which I think is just the cutest. Um, but they're really, really, really small. Smaller than my little hedgie in here. Smaller than a fly. Smaller than um, a ladybug. Like, they're tiny. In fact, they're microscopic. You can usually only see them with the microscope. I had a friend who goes to our church. She made this little tardigrade stuffed animal for me and this is a pretty good it gives you a good idea of what they look like okay so they have eight legs they have claws on their little feetsies and this mouth is kind of like a vacuum with teeth in it it's kind of creepy but they're super cute and they kind of just float around water hang out on little like algae pieces and like munch on that kind of stuff they're really fun you should watch a video of them I think they're adorable but the reason that I bring the tardigrades up is they're super duper tiny. That's one thing. And like we're talking about is things that you can't see, which you can't see these without a um, microscope. But also they're really, really tough little creatures. Um, they can live in really extreme, extreme colds and extreme, extreme heat and also extreme, extreme pressure. In fact, they sent a tardigrade out into space, not like in a spaceship, but like just orbited in bare space. And he lived for like 10 days or something. Kind of crazy. Um, tardigrades are super cool to learn about, but the reason that I bring him up, not only are they hard to see and sometimes you have to look, but also because they're so strong. And that's kind of what I want my faith to be like, that even in really tough conditions, I want to be my faith to be able to be there and um, to know that I can rely on it. Just like these tardigrades can live through just about every, anything, I want my faith to live through just about anything. Okay, so this week, um, the idea that we're focusing on is you can know Jesus even though you've never seen him. And we're going to do some activities this week to um, just make that an idea that sticks in our head. Um, Esme, Phoebe, and Heidi, my little girls, they're going to play along. And hopefully it's something that you can play along with at home. If you need any supplies for the games that we're about to do, please just let me know and I'll get them to you, okay? Okay, we're going to play a game that um, I think this is a fun game that you can play pretty much anytime, anywhere. In this bucket, I have seven sleepy, well, only one of them sleepy, seven dwarfs and eight little Care Bear figurines. And I'm going to hide them around the living room. 
Usually when we play this game at home, we put, we hide things around the whole house. But so you can see um, it happen. It's going to be in the living room and the girls are going to find it. This is a really fun game to play. Um, you can play it outside. You can play it inside in one room in your whole house. Um, it can be one really hard to find object or a bunch of, you know, somewhat hard to find objects. It's up to you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and hide these and my girls, Esme, Phoebe, and Heidi, they're, they're going to... Um, Go and find them. Okay, so my girls are gonna work together to play this game and put all of the toys in this bucket right here. I'm gonna say on your mark, get set, go, and then they're gonna go, and we're all gonna have a lot of fun, okay? On your mark, get set, go. found just about everything. We are missing one dwarf. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. Um, he's around here somewhere. I have faith that even though I can't see him, he is somewhere in this living room. We'll probably find him eventually. Um, this game reminds us of our faith because even though these things we couldn't see, we knew that they were there and we kept looking. And this is just a fun little coincidence that we couldn't find the last one even though I just hit it. Um, but we can keep looking for our faith even when it's a little bit tricky. All right, I'll see you guys at the next activity soon. All right, I have my girls here, Esme, Phoebe, and Heidi and her little toes, I guess. Um, what we just did, what they just did was they took this white crayon and they drew some pictures on these um, white pieces of paper. Um, cardstock would be better. We didn't have any, but that's okay. Um, so they drew pictures that reminded them of their faith and God. And girls, can, don't tell us what's on your pictures, but can you hold up your pictures? Can you hold up your picture? Here, put your feet down. Hold up your picture. And as you can see, we can't really see the pictures right now. We don't really see anything. But, all right, put them back down. Face, face up. Make sure it's the side that you drew on. Um, and then next, I think yours is probably, nope, oh, you had it. Okay, next what we're going to do is we have some watercolors here. Um, so they're going to take their paintbrushes and their watercolors, dip the paintbrush into the water and then into the watercolor paint. And they're going to start painting and hopefully we'll be seeing some of those beautiful pictures. All right, girls, let me pull this in front of you. I'll get Heidi started. Ezzy and Phoebe, you go ahead. Okay. Heidi, what color do you want? Uh, Fine. Okay, the girls have been working really hard on their pictures and they're looking amazing. Esme over here, you can see that she drew flowers under um, with the white crayon and now we have this beautiful work of art with the watercolor, it, the, with the flowers showing through. It's a really good job, Ezzy. And then over here, Phoebe, she drew a lot of hearts, a lot of hearts all over her paper. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says, I love you. And those hearts are looking amazing with those watercolors. And over here, Heidi, what did you draw? Um, hat. She drew hearts too. They're looking really good. She's sticking with the cool color scheme, but you can see her, her drawing pop through here. And we did this not just because it's a lot of fun and it's really beautiful like our faith, but to remind us that even though we can't see something initially, sometimes if we work a little harder or wait a little bit, things will come through and we'll be able to see it just like our faith. In both of those activities, there were things that we couldn't see, like the Care Bears or the Dwarf. The Dwarf I still can't find. Anyway, um, and the in the watercolor, we drew the word Jesus, and we knew that we wrote it on there, but at first we couldn't really see it. And that's kind of what faith is like, is knowing that Jesus 
and God and the Holy Spirit, they're there even when we can't see them or it's hard to see them. So I want you to think about that when you're having a hard time um, seeing God in your life. If you're, if you're thinking like, I don't know, where is he? What is he doing? Just think about these activities. And I hope it help you, helps you to remember that even though it's not super easy to see, I promise he's there. Promise. Um, the so-and-so show, they're going to do a really good job of explaining some Bible stories um, that talk about this. In my lesson, there was like a ton. And last week, I went through a ton of Bible stories. So I wasn't going to do that this week. Um, but we do still have our memory verses and our memory, well, this week we only have one memory verse. I'm going to give you guys a chance to do the versity, the, the big kid, the longer verse. Um, and it's really not that bad. But next week we'll have a JV for the junior memory versers. Okay. Um, and as always, you guys can take a video um, of doing your memory verse and you can email it to me or text it to me. Put it on the general discussion board and we have treats for you that your parents can definitely wipe off before you have um and yeah it'll be so much fun okay so our memory verse this week give it a shot okay it is faith is being sure of what we hope for it is being sure of what we do not see and that's in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And don't forget, guys, you can always pause the screen um, to take a look at this. Maybe write it down in like rainbow letters or something. Um, you choose. And if you do anything like that, like if you come up with a really pretty way to write this down, please send it to me. Oh my gosh, I'd love to see that. So this is our memory verse this week. It's in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 faith is being sure of what we hope for it is being sure of what we do not see so just think about that being sure of what we hope for so what are the things that we're hoping for the big thing right is that we're going to be in heaven with jesus we're going to have an eternal life with him in the kingdom right I'm sure there's other things that we hope for, but that's the big thing, right? And it is being sure of what we do not see. So, you know, I personally haven't seen Jesus do something like turn a couple loaves of bread and a couple fish into enough to feed thousands, right? Um, there's some things with Jesus that I have not seen with my own two eyes, but I have faith that he is there. There's other things that I have seen. So... Just think about where your faith is and that maybe you're expecting to see something um, that you're just not going to see, but you're seeing all kinds of things around you. Okay, we have some prayer requests this week. Esme wanted to help on and give her prayer request. So Esme, what do you want us to pray about this week? I want you to pray about that people stop fighting. Yeah, there have been a lot of people fighting lately in the world and it's really sad. Um, so yeah, we'll, we will definitely bring that to God. I think that is a very important thing to bring to God. I think we have one other prayer request that, um, I'll share right now and then we'll come back here and pray together. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this week. Um, another week where, uh, we have a chance to be close to you and learn about you and love you. Um, I thank you for all of the eyes that you are opening um, to you and your word and I ask Lord that people who are seeking comfort find it in you I ask Lord that even though faith is a tricky thing to see and a tricky thing to be sure of and a really tricky thing to talk about I ask Lord that you give um, everybody hope of who you are and what you do anybody who is having a hard time with that Lord I ask that you give them reassurance um, of who you are and what you do for us and that we feel that um, love in our heart and we can move towards you all of us I pray Lord as Esme did for the people to stop fighting for there to be peace I know that you are the ultimate peace giver and 
I pray that your way is done and you help people on this earth move towards that and move towards it confidently and with grace and love in their hearts. I pray for anyone who isn't feeling well this week. Um, I pray for all of the health of all of our friends and family and that, um, Lord, you are the ultimate healer. I know you are the ultimate healer and Lord, I love you and thank you for that. Um, I pray for Jonas's uh, grandmother that her arm feels better and that you heal it and she never feels that pain again in that arm um, and that this is a memory soon. We love you, Lord, and I thank you for your word. I thank you for your people, and I thank you so much for everything that you do and your plan. Pray this in your son's name. Amen. Okay, so don't forget to watch the so-and-so show. Don't forget to do your memory first, and don't forget to send us prayer requests. It's going to be um, a little bit of a strange summer, I think, but we can do it together. We're going to... We are going to focus and take a closer look this summer together. Um, as long as my trusty cameraman has good focus on his fancy camera, we're going to do just great. Remember, keep the faith, trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Think about what you can see around you that gives you faith. Let me know. I miss you guys. I love you. Bye.